The African Tiger Stripe by Professor Setunya Mokoko. I took a major leap from California to South Carolina, where in California I was an adjunct professor in three universities. I migrated to Clemson University, South Carolina. This is how Clemson University felt like for me. With this music, you can tell it's very different from what I used to. I began to familiarize myself with Tlamzen Library and its history like the library here. My students were curious to see me and meet me. While they were excited and we were not diverse, I made my lectures very diverse and that unified us positively. I started to feel appreciated by my students, for example. I even felt that I could see the tiger's paw in the roads. Unfortunately, on one Chinese holiday, I literally had to give the university my blood due to some migration issues. That also became the end of in-person lecturing. Then with the strike of COVID-19 pandemic, my lectures became on Zoom. Well, this way great. I then had to attend on June 13, 2020, a Black Lives Matter event where, like the image shows, I was looking back at Clemson University and the audience, the people carrying the American flags. This peaceful protest by Clemson University was done to recognize the murderer of George Floyd and the man who murdered him. People took a knee to feel that they were remedying the injustice. Was it or was it a performance? As a black body in the audience, I felt it was performative looking at the very cameras set up by the stage where they picked up Trevor Lawrence's speech and coached Sweeney's speech, the football coach of Clemson University. A performance ended like it was supposed to. It was scripted and it was documented for Clemson's benefit. Solid orange, you say. A.D. Carson asked this question in 2015 when he asked for where are the black stripes in the tiger of Clemson. Dr. Thomas made a project in a book called Call My Name, and here's what she has to say. History isn't everything, but it is a starting point. It's a clock that people use to tell their political or cultural time of day. It's a compass they use to find themselves on the map of human geography. It tells them where they are, but more importantly, what they must be. I believe that only by calling the names and sharing the stories of people whose lives and labors were essential for our existence can we create a complete and complex community history. Stories about specific people can help us talk about topics we'd rather avoid, Topics like slavery, sharecropping, and convict leasing. You see, as an instructor at this university, I have a message for Tlamzen campus. When we talk about reconciliation and remedying an injustice, South Africa, where I come from, has an example. Desmond Tutu, while sitting with Nelson Mandela, he said, when the white people came to Africa, they had the Bibles and we had the land. And they said, let us close our eyes and let us pray. When we open our eyes, the white people had the land and we had the Bibles. See, this message is supposed to show Tlamazin University that to remedy an injustice, you have to acknowledge the wrongdoing. The black bodies at Tlamazin campus have to be acknowledged by the university and have to be respected. Clemson has to take ownership of its marginalization of the past to black students. Black students right now who depend on soccer scholarships and drag and cross country, Clemson is trying to cut those programs because they belong to black students. For Clemson to reconcile and change, it has to take ownership of its actions. It has to remedy the injustice by telling the truth. Then only then, 
the black stripes like myself can be noticed on slums and campus unity that the leaders of this school wanted can be found and in that fruitful engagement of honesty truth reconciliation peace we can graduate our slums and students and keep the legacy of what we are told and what we create a wonderful institution thank you